With this video I will show you how to redirect site administrators to the admin module. This is while normal users and moderators remain in the public module. This video continues to build on the project that I have thus far created. If you have not been following along, I have created a Git repository to get you started for this video. I have left the link to the repository below. Hi, I'm Ben Plesier and, like you, a fervent user of Wabbler. Let us start by creating an administrator. I'll do this in the browser using my long-winded method. I open the admin users page to then view in browser. Here I hit the add user button. In the modal, I add the relevant details. Rather than entering an email address, for the administrator I want a shortened version for the username. In this case I have entered admin. Notice the lower case. This is because of the conversion step on the server side which converts the email address to lowercase. For the password I have also entered admin. The combination, admin admin, is not very secure and is meant for demonstration purpose only. For the production version a more secure combination should be used. When I hit the add user button, we see an error message. This is caused by the validation rules that I have set for the email address. This field requires a proper email address. But as I have said, for the administrator I prefer something that that requires a lesser number of characters. Back in Wappler, I select the add user modal and the email field. In the properties panel I scroll down to validation rules and remove the email validation. The same needs to be done on the back end. For this I select the workflows icon and under admin and users, I select the create function. The validation rule is applied to the posted value. I therefore select input and post. Here I choose the email input. In the properties panel I deselect email. Don't forget to save the JSON file and close it. Back in the users page I again select the view and browser button to add the new user. I enter the details as before. This time when I hit the add user button, I get a confirmation message and the new user is shown in the table. At this stage, the new user is just a user. I need to update this to administrator. I hit the update user button and in the modal I change the group to administrator. Save the updated user and we once again see a confirmation. The details area also shows the group as administrator. I close the browser and we are back in Wappler. Let us now log the administrator in. I do this by opening the index page in the public module and hitting the view in browser button. In the browser I choose the login button and in the modal I enter the required details and submit the form. As you can see, I am logged in. But in the wrong page. I need to be logged into the admin module. I'll log out and close the browser. To be able to redirect the administrator to the admin module, we need to know the user's group when the user logs in. For this I go to the workflows panel. Under security I choose user login. In the JSON file I add an action after the login step. I choose database action and database single query. I change the name of the query. In the query builder I select the users table and group as the only field. For the condition, I set the user ID to be the same as the security identity. When done, close the dialogs, save the JSON file and close it. Back in Wappler, I now need to redirect the user to the appropriate module. For this, I open the main layout page. First up, I need the browser component for the redirect. I choose Notifications, Insert After, Components and Browser. Then I select the login form. In the Properties panel I scroll down to Dynamic Events and Success. In the pop-up, I add the Browser Go to function to the Actions list. 
In the Properties panel I select the Router Picker button and choose the Admin module. If I were to save this setup as is, all users would be directed to the Admin module. This is not what I want. I cut the entry so that I can use it further on. I then hit the Dynamic Data Picker button. Inside the Login form, I select Data, Query User and Group. I then hit the Formatter button. In the pop-up I choose Operation. I choose the Equal Operator and 3 is the Operand. Then I choose Ternary Operation and as the first Operand I paste the link to the Admin Module. For the second Operand, I choose Browser Referral. So, what we are saying here, if the value of group is 3, which is administrator, then go to the admin module. Otherwise go to the page from where you came. This construct can be expanded to include more redirects, by using nested ternary operators. But that is for a future discussion. For now I go through hitting select a number of times to close the dialogues. I also save the layout page in readiness for the testing phase. In the browser I enter the login details as before. When I hit the submit button I am taken to the admin module. Here we notice that the logout button does not function. To rectify this, I open the admin layout page. First I attach the user logout function. This is done by right-clicking, app. In the pop-up, I select data and server connect. I give the server connect a recognizable ID. For the connection, I choose, user logout. It is very important not to load the function when loading the page. After server connect, I add the browser component. Now to attach the function and component to the logout button. This is done by selecting the button in, in the properties panel, Scrolling down to Dynamic Events. Here I add a mouse on click event. For the action, I load the user logout function. I also add the browser go to component. In the Go to Properties panel, I hit the Router Picker button and select the User Module default page. I close the dialogs and save the Admin Layout page. A last test of our creation shows that all is well. And that is how to redirect users when they log in. The next video will be devoted to securing the admin module so that only authorized users can access the module. I hope that you have enjoyed the playlist so far. Thank you for watching.